There we are. How are we doing? I hope everybody is really well and minding yourselves today. I just want to tip my hat to a Telegram account called Irish Quizlings. And they have broken down the data from RIP.ie. I'm not sure who it is behind the account, but they've batted it out of the park today. Really important, really serious work that's got to be done. We know the mainstream media isn't doing it because they were complicit in pushing the jabs and now in the cover up mode. So this is up to us. Citizen journalism at its best. Here we go. So uh, it's not looking good for Waterford. Top of the leaderboard. Now, Waterford was a county the most jabbed, vaccinated, if you want to call it that, uh, in Ireland. And in fact, one of the most vaccinated little places in the world. And then it went on to have the most cases of COVID in Ireland. So the alarm bells were ringing then. And now this work by Irish Quislings has put Waterford up at the very top of the leaderboard with an excess mortality of 45.3%. This is absolutely shocking. How are the mainstream media going to ignore this one? How much longer can they ignore it? Are they going to call it conspiracy? I see Luke O'Neill is on News Talk today talking about conspiracies, the cheek of him, still on the airwaves. And he's going to break down and give us the science behind conspiracy. Are they going to call it a conspiracy? And Irish Quizlings has uh, compared 2019 to 2023 between January 1st and May 5th. So really shocking. And of course, it's on the back of the great work of Patrick E. Walsh from Kilkenny, who has been investigating Kilkenny figures. And he actually backs up what Irish Quizlings is doing here. The bottom of the leaderboard, we have Donegal, who had one of the lowest uptakes of vaccination in Ireland. So there you go. It's absolutely shocking. What are the Irish media going to do about it? Well done to Irish Quizlings. Well done to Patrick E. Walsh. This is the kind of citizen journalism we need. Uh, In the absence of... They're not real journalists, are they? Because they pushed everybody into this. And they asked no questions and they censored people and smeared them. So this is the real journalism. And it's work that needs to be done. And of course, it's always open to correction. That's what we put things out there and say, well, what do you think? Let's put it out there. Let's have a free and fair debate, uh, as you would expect in a democratic society. So no wonder they want to shut us up. Well done, Irish Quizlings. Well done, Patrick E. Walsh. Let's keep it going.